Francis Lightfoot Lee and Richard Henry Lee were the only two brothers that got to sign the Declaration of Independence. Francis Lightfoot Lee. Francis Lightfoot Lee. Francis Lightfoot Lee. Francis Lightfoot Lee was born on October 14, 1734, to the wealthy Lee family in Westmoreland County, Virginia. Although his brothers were able to study abroad in Europe for their education, Francis's parents well, they decided to bring a little bit of Europe to him through his tutor, Mr. Craig, who was a Scottish minister and took Francis under his wing. Though his siblings teased him for not being able to experience Europe for himself, young Francis was still able to acquire a sufficient education through his tutor domestically. Thomas Lee's sons, Richard Henry Lee, and Francis Lightfoot Lee were the only two brothers among all 56 signers of the Declaration of Independence. But there were more. Their older brother, Thomas Ludwell Lee, was a very active member of the Virginia Convention. And their younger brother, William Lee, was over in London and he verbally challenged his brothers to take action against Britain. They had a youngest brother. His name was Arthur Lee, and he would write the pamphlets all against the British and their injustices so that he could inspire public support for independence of the colonies. And these five Lee brothers were described by John Adams as, I quote, the band of brothers, intrepid and unchangeable, they stood in the gap of defense of their country from the first glimmering of the revolution on the horizon through all its rising light to its perfect day. In 1772, Francis married the love of his life, Rebecca Plater Taylor. Although they wouldn't have any children, their love was just as strong as any others. In 1775, Francis was called to serve his colony in the Continental Congress, representing Virginia and having the benefit of his colony backing him, Francis was able to support his brother, Richard Lee, and his other patriots in supporting and the ratification of the Declaration of Independence. He was finally able to sign the document on the 4th of July, 1776, at the age of 42. Francis continued his political career until early in the year of 1779, at which point he retired from public service. And although his constituents might have wanted more of his input in the matters for this young nation, Francis was not interested in any sort of further political career. Since Francis had no children with Rebecca, he was able to enjoy reading, entertaining his friends, and doing his farming without any distractions. Francis died on January 11, 1797, at the age of 62. Well, without her partner, his wife Rebecca wasn't able to continue on, and she passed away just a few days later. Reverend Charles Augustus Goodrich writes of Francis Lightfoot Lee, He was fond of ease and of the pleasures of domestic life. Still, he was conscious of his obligations and most faithfully discharged them. While a member of the Continental Congress, he had been characterized for integrity, sound judgment, and the love of country. In his present office, he was distinguished for these very same virtues. <laughs>